Today, Bandai Namco released a brand new batch of Jump Force screenshots revealing for the first time the game's main antagonist, Kane. Designed by Akira Toriyama, details on Kane are currently scarce, but the following tagline is notably provided for the villain, this world needs to be remade. And in order to do that, it must first be unmade. Photo, Bandai Namco Photo, Bandai Namco Photo, Bandai Namco Photo, Bandai Namco For those that don't know, Akira Toriyama is a Japanese manga and game artist who first achieved recognition via the manga series, Drive. Slump. However, you may know him for his best-known work, Dragon Ball, which he created. Toriyama has also notably featured as a designer on classic Japanese video game series, such as Blue Dragon, Dragon Quest, and Chrono Trigger. The artist and designer is largely considered one of the most important figures in manga history, and so the fact that he designed Kane will be a pretty big deal to many. Announced this past June during E3 2018. Jump Force already features a robust roster of characters, which includes characters from series such as Naruto, Dragon Ball, One Piece, Bleach, Hunter x Hunter, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Death Note. Created to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the famous weekly Jump magazine, Jump Force brings together the most well-known manga heroes and throws them all into the same battleground, our world. An official description continues, uniting to fight the most dangerous threat, the Jump Force will bear the fate of the entire humankind. Zero comments Meanwhile, the following key features are provided, a unique setting, merging Jump World and Real World. But what could be the origins of such chaos? The Jump Force, an alliance of the most powerful manga heroes from Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto and much more. High and realistic graphics and design to bring manga characters to life like never before. Jump Force is currently poised to release sometime during February 2019 via the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. At the moment, there has been no word of the game coming to Nintendo Switch. However, other Bandai Namco games have notably come to the Nintendo system post-launch, so it remains possible Jump Force will punch its way to the hybrid system eventually.